Hello and welcome to Ouya Classics. In this installment, I'm taking a look at Gianna Sisters. I typically try to be pretty positive in my reviews. That's why I call the various console web series I run classics. But every now and then, I also feel it's my duty as a game educator to also inform about bad games, or in this case, a bad port. For those unaware, The Great Gianna Sisters is a cult classic for the Commodore 64 and a few other 80s computers developed by a small German developer called Time Warp and released in 1987. The Great Gianna Sisters was pretty much a blatant copy of Nintendo's famous Super Mario Brothers in terms of its visuals and general game design, with hands down one of the greatest soundtracks to ever grace the C64. The game was pulled from retail shelves after Nintendo threatened legal action against Time War, and the forbidden nature of the game made it all the more alluring to the thriving Commodore 64 wear scene of unofficial copies. Within a short period of time, the Great Gianna Sisters actually gained popularity, and it became uncommon for a C64 owner to not have the Great Gianna Sisters. Then, 20 years later, Gianna Sisters saw a rather miraculous revival by yet another German developer, Spellbound Interactive, to remake Gianna Sisters as an officially licensed title for the Nintendo DS. Things had finally come full circle. Called, of course, Gianna Sisters DS. This game is easily one of the best hidden gems for the DS, with wonderfully expanded gameplay, level designs that are well thought out, and the original 32 levels of the C64 original are unlockable as well. Finding Gianna Sisters DS can be a challenge though, as the game was only released in Germany and Australia, although it did get a very quiet, limited, online-only release in North America two years later. So, with all this history out of the way, Gianna Sisters on Ouya. So, what the hell is this? Well, it turns out to be an HD port of Gianna Sisters DS, but apparently in making the game HD, no effort was paid to making this port actually good. Whereas Gianna Sisters DS is smooth and beautiful, Gianna Sisters on Android is a total mess. All of the game's wonderfully animated sprites have been replaced with flash animation quality graphics, and apparently this visual choice makes the entire game barely able to run without crashing. Gianna Sisters Android is full of consistent loading issues, frame skipping, clipping errors, and controller input lag that is in no way the fault of the UIA controller. You can plug in a PS3 or 360 controller and get the same results. This game simply will occasionally refuse an input, like pressing left or right on the D-pad. It's infuriating to actually play this game. If you can somehow look beyond the performance issues, You'll find Gianna Sisters Android is a remarkably well-designed game, as of course this is a port of Gianna Sisters DS. Spellbound took their time redesigning levels, adding in new mechanics, and making the world even more dreamlike than the original Gianna Sisters game. Structurally, this is a really good platformer. The music is likewise incredible, as all of Chris Hulsbeck's scores are. The underlying game that Gianna Sisters Android is based on is a simple one, Yet I feel is a better tribute to the original game than New Super Mario Brothers is to the original Mario platformer. Yeah, I really do think so. Gianna Sisters DS is a better game than any of the recent Mario platformers. 
Gianna Sisters was a free demo of the first world and cost $1.99 for the whole game. But even at that low price, don't buy this game. I say this with much sadness, as Gianna Sisters DS is again an incredible game. The problems with Gianna Sisters Android are entirely self-created, and could easily be fixed with an update patch. But considering Gianna Sisters was a launch title for the OUYA, I don't see this happening. While I do give Gianna Sisters Android a big thumbs down, I fully encourage you guys to consider buying Gianna Sisters DS. It's rare, but you should be able to find a copy if you look hard enough. Gianna Sisters DS controls smoothly, it looks great, sounds great, and it's a much better game than this one is. It doesn't have any of the issues I mentioned here with Gianna Sisters Android, and it's a game that you can show off to your friends who likely will have never heard of it. I'm sure I'll eventually get around to reviewing Gianna Sisters DS, but for now, I just wanted to voice my frustration that Gianna Sisters DS on Ouya is not worth your attention at all, at least until a patch is released to fix the game-breaking performance issues. Well anyway guys, thanks for watching. Remember to check out DOSReviews.com for more.